In this tutorial, we are going to quickly add a spotlight onto a car. So let's go about looking for our car. And I'm going to use this car that we used earlier. And here we have our lovely car. The next thing to do is to put some lights on this car. All right. Pretty much floodlights, you know, from above or from the side. And to do that, I'm going to create, um, I'm going to use my electric, my elliptical marquee tool rather by just clicking say um, right over here not this big putting it into place say right here and I'm gonna click on the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to click on the shift key notice I get that little plus once I click on the shift key that means I can add on to this selection of mine. So I'm going to click, say about here, go and click outside. And this is pretty much how I want my light to be coming. And once I'm done, I'm going to release the shift key, double click. And now this is how the light should be coming. The next thing I want to do is go to select, modify. I want to add some feathers. Feather is going to make the light looks as though it is blurring and not just one focused beam of light onto the car. So by choosing, let's say, um, a feather radius of 18 pixels, well, our end result will look something like this. Now to add our light, we're going to go to Image, Adjust, and we're going to go to Curves. In curves, I'm going to add one click right here. And from this click, I'm just going to click and go upwards. And you notice the car. We have a light that's coming down on it already. Okay. And you don't want to overdo it now. So just, you know, yeah, just gradually do it. Say like so. That's one light. Click over here. Get rid of that. I can add another light to it by just using just my polygonal lasso tool and to choose my area as to where it's going to be illuminated I'm going to click from let's say from here to about here to about here here and I'm going to put the light up here make it about um, make the light bounce off of here this is really a fantasy way of illuminating because light is not really going to be this well constructed onto an object I'm gonna double click oh I'm sorry I just lost my selection so I'm gonna click to do it again click for here click over here click over here go out come down click over here click down here come all the way back and here is this is how my light is going to come down if I wanted to add a circular uh, kind of a motion or let's say structure to our light beam all I have to do is go to the elliptical marquee tool click on the shift key and pretty much just um, drag right over here just drag this you know this circle is right over here and drag it there and I could come again and I could drag another one right over here as well okay okay so now the light is going to be like this it's not really realistic to have a light you know so well constructed like this because we don't we do not control photons but you know for this um, illustration we can actually do that so our light beam is going to come down and just shine on this side of the car and to make that happen we're going to go to image adjustments curves and curves we're going to add one point click and just raise it up okay just like that and I'm going to say okay come back to my stage click elsewhere and boom there you see it just like this and you can keep adding lights until you get the effect that you're looking for but in brief, that's how you can quickly add a spotlight onto an image in Photoshop. 